my friends, I am so glad you have gathered um, here tonight. And before I welcome our very special guest tonight, I just want to tell you about a couple of things that are upcoming that are special on the next two Wednesday nights. So that's different for us because we usually gather here on a Sunday evening. But this coming Wednesday, we are gathering for prayer in a time of war. Sorry, I forgot to hit the mute. Um, prayer in a time of war, a sacred space of refuge for our community. It is going to be led by a Muslim leader and a, a Jewish prayer leader. Um, we will be together for a time of of prayer and silence and song and poetry. It is a time where you can come and offer something if you would like to, or just be together with us in the quiet time of prayer in this time of war. So I hope you'll join us. That will be at a different time at eight o'clock. We usually gather at seven o'clock Eastern time, and this will be at eight o'clock this Wednesday. And then the following Wednesday, if you are reading ahead for our author visits, our next author visit is on November 15th. That's not this Wednesday, but the next Wednesday. And we're going to have Juliet Patterson joining us um, to talk about her book, Sinkhole, A Legacy of Suicide, a really, really moving book. You do not have to have read the book to come to the book talk. I am sure after the book talk, you will want to go and read the book if you haven't yet. Um, but those are two special times that are coming up and I hope you can join us for those. But right now I am incredibly grateful to welcome Jim for the first time, Jim Kellerman, a musician, a composer, a yoga facilitator, a health coach who brings all of that together into one space for us tonight and, to sh and he's going to share with us his very special project. So settle in my friends. And Jim, we're so grateful you're here. Thanks so much, Margaret. Super, super awesome to see everybody. I'm uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, specifically in South Minneapolis, and uh, have been uh, in Minneapolis most of my life. So it's nice to, to see everybody in all the far off reaches. So, Margaret and I met over the summer in Chicago at the uh, World Parliament of Religion, the religions, and it was just so fun and we had such a nice connection and I'm really honored that you decided to include me into your community and invite me to be present tonight. Um, I sent Margaret after we had met and chatted and had a couple of nice conversations in Chicago. We uh, <clears throat> got over email and I sent her the the video project that uh, we're going to look at tonight. And um, and so that was that was the genesis of of me coming is to share this video project that I um, have been working on for a while and have it be a launching point for the community and the reflection of, of this particular evening. As Margaret said, I, I have been leading yoga. Uh, I'm also a health coach. I have also spent a lot of time playing music and I'm really passionate about all those different aspects of, of how we find space to breathe. And so that's what I wanted to start with, was just inviting everybody to take a, um, just take a second and orient yourself so you can take a really big deep breath. If you're kind of leaning back in a soft, cushy, cushy couch, maybe, maybe sit up or find, find a, a way for your, for your body to sit with some presence so you can take a nice big deep breath so take a big deep breath 
and let your air out slowly. So yoga is, the word itself means union, and we're trying to, within a yoga practice, not really find a perfect pose or, or turn ourselves in certain shapes, but it's really about the conversation with your inner reality, with your inner perception. So that can happen just sitting there. It can happen just in your chair where you are right now. So take a really big, deep breath and notice what does your body feel like sitting on the surface that you're sitting on. Or if you're standing up, what does it feel like to be in your feet? Continuing to breathe and notice If you feel like closing your eyes, you sure can. If you don't want to, you can just have a soft gaze. Just taking your, your attention and your perception inward. <sighs> Continuing to breathe. I'm gonna play a little bit on the flute with a shruti box. Gently bringing your attention back to the room and senses. And just notice if there's anything that feels different. And taking a taking a second to just feel into that change. What what feels different for you? Staying with that different perception, my intention for creating this video that we're going to watch was to give the viewer a chance to take a breath with the intensity of the distractions that we are constantly surrounded by. Uh, I just thought I'm going to use what musical statement or, or what musical gift that I have to create something that can help help you remember what does it feel like to take that breath when you're outside. 
and finding a space to to just give yourself a chance to slow down and reorient. So I think with with the video itself it's placed in a place that's a very special place for me. Uh, the Mississippi River flows, of course, through Minneapolis, St. Paul, and, and it heads down to the southeast past Red Wing. And I have lived, I've, I've been thinking about this a lot, I've lived within a, about a mile and a half of the Mississippi for my whole almost my whole adult adult life. I've lived um, here in Minneapolis for many years. I've lived in Brooklyn Park, which is just a little bit up upriver. I've lived in Lake City. I've lived in Davenport, Iowa, all within a mile and a half of the river. So when I was uh, thinking about composing a piece of music uh, in 2008, um, I was struck by a full moon one night and this moon was it came up over the the eastern sky and it was one of those moons that were it was just enormous it was like you just can't believe how big that moon is and I happened to be living right down by the river in Lake City Minnesota which is south of Red Wing and I uh, saw the moon and I jumped in the canoe and I paddled out to the middle of the Mississippi and there was no wind and it was like a mirror the the river was like a mirror and the moon there was not a cloud in the sky and, and the moon was so bright I almost thought I needed sunglasses it was that bright so I'm out in the middle of the river and I just sat there for about three hours and I came back, and that was the inspiration for a, a string quartet piece that I wrote. And uh, I want to come back to the to that be, for a second, but I I also want to invite you to think about a place that is special to you. And since we have sixteen people, we and we only have 30 minutes and the movie's 12 minutes. <laughs> we can't all go around. So why don't we use the chat box and type in, if you have a place that's special to you that you want to acknowledge, that helps you find your center and find your breath, find your place that is um, that, that place of being grounded and, and, and rooted in, in yourself, Maybe just type it into the chat, type it into, um, just acknowledge for everybody else wh where that is and what that place is. I love it, seeing a bunch of people, my vegetable garden. I, I, I got to be honest with everybody here. I don't do a lot of Zoom stuff. I do mostly live stuff, so I, it, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit awkward and um I uh, just want to acknowledge that that this isn't my usual thing. I, I do love being in person. So I wish I could see everybody and um, give you all, um, you know, presence here. I I wanted to, to just open it up for, um, you know, people to put into the chat their special place. But really, this movie, this video, this film that I awesome well, in Wisconsin we have somebody uh, from Wisconsin too so I wanted to I wanted to just create the space for the for the video to be a chance to just sink into your breath and find find your center in the context of being outside I I think that sometimes we um, it's almost like we take the earth for granted because we're so uh, in a hurry to do the next thing and um, sometimes just finding the time to to get outside can be hard because we don't know you know um, it's it's not the most productive thing so to speak if it's on your list you 
you know, you got five other things to do and getting outside is not always um, considered the most productive thing. But as, as we're watching the, the video, I would just encourage you to sink into to your connection with that special place that you put into the chat and finding what that, how that grounds you and creates the space uh, to be your best self. Because that really is what I think is, is where Margaret's efforts here is to create a space for us to connect in amongst a lot of different traditions. Um, in yoga, that's what we're, we're really trying to do is find this, find the, the opportunity to, to take the breath that gives you choice that gives you a choice to not react and to maybe change a pattern, change a, a thought, change a, a feeling and, and create the space to, to find your best self. Okay. So thank you, Jim. I will bring it up now. I think we should watch that. And then we will, we should have a couple of minutes after and just love to hear thoughts and comments. Uh, this is Pep and Moon. Dear River, how many times has the moon watched over us, smiling, our hands intertwined like where you and the ocean tenderly meet? Our eyes twinkle across your still mirror. Summer night breathes deep. And I ask, what would happen if we held tomorrow like yesterday? With warmth like dawn. In the shadow of the bluffs, you so artfully carved. Fall sunset beckons moonrise. Crisp air flits and a breeze whispers gently one last question in my ear. I must know, dear river, what does it mean to love you? What does it mean to love you?
we're kind of running short on time. Thanks everybody for participating and, and uh, experiencing it. Margaret? Just spectacular. <laughs> Just take, take it away. <laughs> Ruffless. Speechless. Jim, what an incredible, incredible gift you have made. The music, the images, the intention, it is spectacularly beautiful. I really appreciate everybody being in the space together and um, and just being present and experiencing it. I, I, I'll be honest, it's, it's like, it doesn't fit easily into a box, so to speak. Like it's, it's way too long to go viral. <laughs> like nobody's, it's not going to be on TikTok. <laughs> well, maybe it could be, I don't know, but well, I, I have watched it several times now, but watching it in community here felt different with all of you putting yeah. your special places into the chat it just felt different watching it in community too and i know i will be watching it again but i'm just yeah. so grateful for you sharing that with us um, yeah thank you and i i think that's kind of um, part of the beauty of of what you're doing too is just creating this space again it's almost like the yoga of being outside like you know, yoga is that opportunity to reconnect and to and to quiet, and that's what happens when we're outside. And I think we we sometimes just forget to do it. At least I do. So maybe if if anything, if this has inspired you to go to your special place uh, and find your center, then I'm super super grateful for that. And I think that our special space place also can be this video yeah. uh, for those of us who can't get to our special right. places right now, you are, you are carrying us there. Right. Grateful for that. Thank you all so much for being here, Jim. We can't wait till you come back again. We can't wait to see what else you create. Um, thank you for your gifts, your spirit. Um, as he said at the beginning, it is thanks to Zach. I'm so glad that Zach could join us tonight too from the mountains. Um, Zach and Jim were playing Kirtan live at the Parliament of the World's Religions. Um, and I know Susie, who's here with me, heard Zach for the first time at the Parliament. Um, and he was joined by Jim this year, who drove all the way in just to play with Zach. And that was a very moving experience. So I'm grateful to meet you and for you to come here and share your gifts with us, Jim. And I know Zoom is not something that is um, something that you do. And I'm so grateful that you did and that you shared it for us this way because we can come from all over the world to be here together tonight. So thank you to you all for sharing this space. I hope you'll be back. Come and join us on Wednesday night for prayers in a time of war. Um, join us next Sunday for Rabbi Shelley Barnathan, who will be leading us in songs and prayers for peace. And next Wednesday um, for our, our next book of talk um, from Juliet Patterson on sinkhole. So Jim, love and gratitude to you. I just type, thank you so much, Margaret. I just typed my website into the chat. Right. And also, if you are on Insight Timer, I have some things on Insight Timer too. So that could be fun to check yes. out. So. Yeah. If you Thanks use so Insight much, Timer, Margaret. you will hear Jim's voice. It is wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. So thank you all. Everybody. Thank you all. It's an honor. Thank you. Come back again, Jim. Thanks. Good to Please. see you. <laughs>